Hey, um, I just wanted to make a quick update video because I get a lot of messages on Instagram um, and it seems like my modafinil video, pros and cons video got a lot of attention even though like I intentionally set this channel up to be about weight loss, fitness and that sort of thing so I might as well just go with it um, and answer a couple of the questions that I get most frequently the first one being where do I get it um, so I don't the place where I used to get modafinil from is you can't get it there anymore and it seems like and it's it was an online pharmacy I don't really want to tell you the name of them because it just feels weird giving telling you where to go and get drugs when it seems to be the majority of the inquiries that I get are from people that want it to, to study in for exams and stuff which a lot of the stigma seems to be around that so I'm not necessarily saying that I disagree with it being used for that reason but uh, for the same reason I don't want to be on YouTube telling you where to go and get stuff but I got mine from an online pharmacy um, and what would happen is you'd have to go on when you register you'd have to go through a consultation um, and they would sort of check what the symptoms are the conditions that you might have to determine whether or not you need it so one of the main uses for modafinil is narcolepsy so you know if, if the consultation would suggest that you have the symptoms of narcolepsy, they would prescribe modafinil or they would okay the sale of modafinil to those people. Just saying, purely for informational purposes. Um, the other thing that I get is, do I still take it? Um, so I do still take it on occasion, but only really when I have a massive amount of things to do, if I need to work late and I still need to be productive in the evening. Um, rather than just having a short burst of sort of efficiency in the mornings. Um, the reason that I don't need to take it anymore is because when I made that original video, I was working day and night. Um, I had a day job where I was sort of like a head of search marketing for a big brand in the UK. And then in the evenings, um, I was starting to do freelance work and that sort of thing because I had the intention of setting up my own business. So be, by being able to and this sort of leading on to my next, the, the next question that I want to answer, which is what impact has it had on your life? Um, it really gave me the time and focus and uh, sort of efficiency to be able to set up my own business in the evenings and then migrate myself from having a day job and freelance on the side to just working full time for myself. So I think when I made that first video, the video um, that got the most views, which is Medafinal Pros and Cons, that was probably about two years ago, um, when I was still working and had my freelance stuff in the evenings. Where I am now is I'm running my own business full time. Uh, we have five staff. Um, I mean, the, obviously we're in, <laughs> the economy's kind of on a downward trend right now. Um, so, you know, we're kind of in a weird time, but up until this point, we had been growing quite quickly. Um, I mean, even because I've never run a business before and there's a lot of stuff that I've had to sort of learn on the go. Um, but I think it's fair to say that the, the, the rate at which we were growing was fucking rapid. Um, and we went from it just being me to me partnering uh, with another agency owner. Um, now we've got a sales manager, um, a, a project manager who works full time for us. We have a content executive and a social media person. So actually all in all, there's six of us. Um, yeah, we've got like a really nice cool office in Manchester, so you can check us out if you want, it's gorilla.marketing and we do SEO, digital marketing, social media marketing, um, web, web design, that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Obviously we're in lockdown, so I finally found the time to make a new video, although I probably won't be putting that much time into editing it and stuff. I just wanted to get this out because I do get a lot of questions. I, I would like to start making more videos again. Obviously, I'm not in the gym or anything like that at the minute. This is my home gym, which I've got. I've got my punch bag, uh, squat rack, and just loads of like random plates, which I have to sort of overload the fire with. Uh, but I'm, you know, lucky in the respect that at least I've got stuff to train with, and I'm still able to keep my routine to some degree. And I'm just kind of walking a lot to get my car doing at the minute. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's covered the update. And any questions, let me know in the comments, and I will answer you. Alright, cool.